Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, July 3rd, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Disney Deer. That's got to be Bambi. Let's see if we can build off of Bambi here. Motorcycle Gang Member. Hmm, I guess that would just be a biker. Sexiest Man Alive Annual Award. Video game franchise whose players gather natural resources. That's Minecraft, right? That's an interesting answer if you did the mini today. Rotten? Maybe that's just bad. Wedding words? That's I do when you say your vows. Okay, so this is the Iliad, epic poem in Homeric Greek. That's right. We have Eve. The Night Before Christmas, e.g. Yes, that would be an example of an Eve. And video camera button is Rec. Yeah, that's Record. Okay, let's take a look at our first long across here. This might be our first theme answer. Miles Davis classic that's the all-time best-selling jazz album. I believe that's kind of blue. Okay, we have a color in our first theme answer. And it definitely looks like it's pointing to a revealer here. It's this big grid spanner. Terrible smelling. That would be foul. Hogwarts Headmaster Dumbledore. That was Albus Dumbledore. Okay. Singer Guthrie. I know there's an Arlo Guthrie. That's Woody's son. Russian Revolutionary Trotsky. That would be... Leon Trotsky. So let's see if one is right here. This clue's number minus eight. Nine minus eight. Yeah, that's one. Got going again as a fire. If you did that, you relit the fire. Pretty terrible. Could be lousy. We have lousy, foul, and bad. <laughs> There's a lot of nasty words up here. It looks like we might have some French too. French yeses. Yeah, that's wheeze. It has to be wheeze plural because the clue asked for yeses plural. Okay, so this is probably our second theme answer. Oh, I'm not messing around. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. Hmm, what would be a good equivalent here? Just you wait? I think that would be a pretty good equivalent. Hmm. Kind of blue, just you wait. I don't see anything that these two phrases have in common yet. Olympic sport from Japan, that's probably judo. One of Cuba's Castro brothers, there's a Raul Castro. Peace that seeks to persuade. In a newspaper, that's an op-ed. Last full month of summer abbreviated. Okay, well, September's the last partial month of summer, so this has to be August. Despise. Maybe that's abhor? That's a good rare word. Luau greeting has to be aloha. Vietnam's capital is Hanoi. Embarrassing sound to suddenly make while laughing. I guess a snort is kind of embarrassing. Dash, dash, dash units in Morse code. On the crossword, dots and dashes in Morse code are dits and das. Blank Bator, capital of Mongolia. That's Ulaanbaatar. The M of MSG, monosodium glutamate. Okay, what do we have here? Elevator for transporting food. In old-fashioned houses, you might have a dumbwaiter. Okay, so this is PGA, Lynx Org. Yeah, Lynx as in golf courses. And because we have an abbreviated org in the clue, our answer is abbreviated as well. Worker at a bank or a museum. Hmm, it's not a teller. Maybe it could be a guard. There we go. Hades, Hermes, or Hephaestus. 
I think those would be examples of a god, right? And it has to be god singular because it asked for one or the other. Aliens ride for short. That would be a UFO. Professionals who work with graphic designers. That should really be art directors. That doesn't fit though. It has to be plural. Hmm. Poor love on. And when you have a word at the end of your clue like this, that means that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer. So I think this is going to be dote on. Yeah. So what is this? It starts with an E. Use to shovel say. That should be dug. It has to be dug in the past tense because the clue is in the past tense. Hmm. Maybe it's an art editor. Art editors, yeah. Okay. What the Grim Reaper brings. The Grim Reaper brings death. Art blank. Architectural style. That's gotta be art deco. That's something an art editor might know about. Have you blank wondered? Have you ever wondered? Cincinnati Ball Club. That is the Cincinnati Reds. I wonder if we could take a stab at our third theme answer here. Big member of the string section. Of the string section? It's not a cello? Upright something? Upright bass? Is this a peeve? Really annoy? Yeah, it is. Sped. That could be raised. I hate it. Another equivalent phrase. Ugh. It definitely is going to start with upright. Hmm. Maybe it is an upright base. Let's see if this is a B. Coffee cake with cross-sectional swirls. Hmm. Coffee cake. I don't really eat coffee cake. I'm not sure what this is. What can show you the world? And this is a wordplay clue. That's indicated by this question mark here. What we have to do with wordplay clues is a look for a punny answer. So I think this is going to be about something that could literally show you the world. Not in a traveling sense, but in a sense where you could look it up in a book. Yeah, it could be an atlas. Nice, okay. Rubber Ducky's Place, that's definitely the bath. Coffee cake. We think this might be a bee. Hmm, I still have no idea. Puppy Love Singer Paul, that's Paul Anka. Get some afternoon rest, say. That should be a nap as a verb. Things split in green soup. I'm a huge fan of split pea soup. Huh. Maybe it's a babka. I think I've heard of that. Tennis legend Arthur. That's Arthur Ashe. I think it does have to be a base here. Kind of blue, just you wait, upright base. Hmm. I have no idea what our theme is talking about here. Let's see what our last theme answer is. Neon, Argon, and Krypton. Well, those would all be noble gases. And it has to be gases plural again because they asked for Neon, Argon, and Krypton. Okay, so we have Kind of Blue, Just You Wait, Upright Base, and Noble Gases. Very interesting. I guess we should take a look at the revealer. I was hoping maybe we could get an inkling of what the theme is about, but I have no idea. Having initial success, as suggested by the beginnings of 17, 24, 47, and 60 across. Okay, having initial success, shouldn't that be off to a good start? So, Kind, just, upright, noble. Ah, all of these phrases begin with words that can mean good. They're literally a good start. Very, very clever. 
All right, let's finish up this grid here. Cry of frustration. That would definitely be an arg. Underground part of a plant. That's the root. A long time ago. Shout that might give you goosebumps. <laughs> I guess I would know about that. This should be boo. Place to park. You could park in a lot. So we have able, competent. That's right. Decorates as a cake. This should be ices. Itty bitty. I really want this to be teeny. Let's see if that's right. Locales staffed by MDs. No, that should really be emergency rooms. So this is not teeny. Very dirty room, you might say. Well, this is a sty. Uses needle and thread. Okay, that should be sews. So I guess this is incy instead. Out of whack is definitely a rye. Is the view okay? Another equivalent phrase. Can you see? Morsel a horsel enjoy. What a funny clue. I guess this should be an oat, right? Horses like oats. Member of a western tribe. That's looking like it's gotta be a huge. First stringers would be the A-team. Things that might end with pencils down. Sounds like a test to me, but it's gotta be tests because they asked for things, plural. Okay. Letters that bookend the phrase Google Maps aptly. I guess that's GPS because Google Maps is kind of a GPS. Fold in a dress. That's gotta be a pleat. Looks to be, that should definitely be seams. So this is an ale, the A of India Pale Ale. That's definitely right. All right, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 16 minutes. Ironically, we did not get off to a good start in deciphering this theme. Yeah, this one was kind of subtle. Each one of our theme phrases has a word that can mean good at the start of it. Kind of blue, just you wait, upright base, and noble gases. Yeah, this is a nice collection of phrases and that's a good revealer. There was also some nice along downfill. I liked dumbwaiter and Minecraft, and we also got a good Monday level wordplay clue. What can show you the world? It's an atlas, yeah. All right, well, I feel like this week is off to a good start. I hope you enjoyed solving that puzzle with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday solve, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.